it's me month it it is tuesday it is april 25th and we're at lunchtime so what did we do yesterday today yesterday was monday i didn't film monday um but what did we do i'll link it below but we did we're doing read out loud this week is going to be um midnight on the moon so i'm gonna do like a book study novel book study I found this for free. It was virtual field trip to the moon. So we watched an old um, YouTube sh um, show, a YouTube video, and it just talked or showed like a, um, a simulated trip to the moon and it's kind of old, um, but it was free. So I'll connect this down there. So we went on our virtual field trip yesterday to the moon. I fast forwarded through some of it just to get like the main parts. It was like 22 minutes long. I probably did it in like 12. So we did go through some of it really fast, but we showed takeoff and it showed landing. It showed how it orbited around. It showed like the Milky Way. So it showed a whole bunch of different things. Um, but we did a virtual field trip to the moon as part of our anticipatory set for the novel. And also this week we're reading um, Kitty Kitten's First Full Moon. And it also brings in phases of the moon. So I thought, why not to do this? So on the inside of the little booklet, it asks them, like, fill in the blank. Um, I would like to visit the moon because, and so a reason why maybe they want, want to visit the moon. I would like to visit the moon, but what's stopping them? What's something that would they need, would need? What's something that they have to do um, to get to the moon? So like, what's stopping you from getting to the moon? And I would like to visit the moon. So what would be like a mission they had when they would get to the moon? What would they want to do once they got to the moon? Then we watched the video and then they, my favorite part was, and then they drew a picture. And then after we had two questions, um about the moon and so those are our questions that we had on the moon so that was yesterday along with our chap our story test along with um just finishing last week so now tuesday we are on unit five week two and we are starting our book we did math we're starting or we started module six module six both the first lessons were like a really quick, um, I'm gonna call them filler lessons of what's the missing number. So I did lesson one yesterday. I'm not doing lesson two because it was talking about the same problems that they did yesterday and they wanted me to do them again today. So we did lesson three. Lesson three is called use place value charts to record and name tens and ones with two digit numbers up to 100. We're doing numbers to 100, which is topic B. So they called them high to zero cards. I printed them, they disappeared, they're somewhere in the school, someone has them. So here's the one that I made. So here's my number, 92. Behind the two, the two's hiding the zero. So this is actually 90 plus two. So to make 92, you have 90 plus two. Okay, what happens if our number is, um, we'll say 35. There's our number, 35, perfect. I have three tens, I have five ones. 35 is actually 30 plus five because the five is hiding the zero, so 35. I put this together with expanded form, which I know they're gonna do next year. So on my example right here, it was 72. So we wrote 70 plus two, and then we also did word form. So we wrote 72. So that's what we did for our lesson. We did multiple of these, and then we started writing um, expanded form and word form. So we did a couple of those. Tomorrow, they're going to do it as addition sentences. So I actually did that today. So we did our, um, and I showed them when we made number bonds for adding, we already did this. We separated our tens and our ones. And so it was just reminding them and building on it. So tomorrow we're going to do expanded form. They just call them into addition sentences, combining the tens and the ones, but we already did that. So it's just going to be like an extension of what we did today. Um, after that, we did reading. After that, we did our math. They were doing CERN. I'm going to move everybody up to module six to make sure that everyone's doing the same thing. Some of them are still on clocks. Um, so I'm moving everybody up to module six. And then right before we left to recess or to lunch, because we're at lunch, we did, um, since we're going to start the book, 
it printed backwards, but it says before reading. So I got this, I'll link it below. It goes with um, Midnight on the Moon and it says before reading. And so they were supposed to look at the title, write the title, the author, look at the cover and decide what it's going to be about. And so the kids wrote a tree house that teleports them to the moon. We sounded out teleport. And so there's an A there because that's what they said. That's what we heard. So we sounded it out and rewrote it. I will tell them that it's gonna be an E. Um, and then they were supposed to write down after we read the little blurb in the back if they were gonna like it or not. So it was either yes because or no because. I have three kids that said they've read it before. So I told them that I wasn't going to pick on um, them to tell me what the story was about because they know what the story is about and that I wasn't going to pick them for the bottom one because I didn't want them to give away any spoilers. So we did that. When we come back in, we will do chapter one. So I'm going to read chapter one. So when we come back in, we're going to, I'm going to read chapter one, and then we have questions for chapter one. This one has chapter two attached to it, so we'll save this for chapter two also, but they'll do that for chapter one. So after we do all that, that's going to be my read out loud this week. And so after we do all that, we'll start with our phonics lesson, which is going to go over the other R controlled vowels. Um, so our phonics lesson, we'll do centers. Reading is going to be our first story from our little book in our unit five week two. And then we'll do some vocabulary words from those since we are having two vocabulary words inside our stories now. So we'll do that and then we'll get into a writing. Um, I did pull our folder last week. I did buy a hardcover of The Impatient Caterpillar but I decided not to use it because of the story that we we're gonna do this week brought the moon in. So we're going to do moon things in here. I'm gonna look through all my papers that I have, paper copies of, I'm gonna pull up um, my packet for unit two, um, two, no, unit five, week two, so I can get my words out. And I'm also gonna find what we're supposed to be writing about this week. So I use um, the Humble Beginnings and they always have like comprehension reading or writing things. And so I'm gonna print those. So that way I have a copy so we can write it. Um, and then I'm gonna pull out the cards so we can have the word cards also. But I'm gonna go to lunch and I'll see you after school and tell you what we did and what's gonna go on for the rest of the week. It's Wednesday, it is lunchtime. It didn't close out yesterday. That's like my new thing now. But yesterday to finish the day, we did our comprehension writing. Um, the comprehension writing was, what did Fern do? And so even though it's like a, the not drawing one, we had some friends that needed to catch up. So we wrote down what Fern did. So Fern in our story is looking at the clouds and she thinks she sees a sailboat or a boat, a pirate ship. And so then she goes to it, but then it turns into a bed. So she's tired. So she tries to lay in the bed, but she falls through because it's a cloud. Her imagination is seeing things in the clouds. And so we did that. We um, read it or we listened to it. So they read it to themselves. And then we watched a quick video from SciShow Kids on what clouds are or how they're made. And so that's what we did. And then we came back and or after that, we did our writing. So that's pretty much what we did after and we had PE. It was hula hoop day. We did hula hoop hopscotch or catch. And then after about eight, 10 minutes, they switched so that way they had time to do the other activities because if I just let it go, they stick to one thing and then they're like, hey, but I wanted to do. So I always stop and say, okay, if we're switching, let's switch. Um, but that's what we did yesterday. Something else that we did that I forgot, we did, we're working on adjectives. And so we were doing an adjective picture. And so it just has the word, so cat, and we have to add our own adjective. Um, so the first we did, I did with them, showing them, and then I handed them the paper. So we've been going over adjectives. So I asked them, how would I describe my cat? So someone said striped. Teacher, they said curly hair teacher, cause it's me. Um, house, someone said big, and then I thought I said boot, but it says boat, but I said boot. And so they said blue cake. Someone said frosted and then kid nice. And so then they are supposed to write the adjective and then draw a picture to go with it. Then I handed it to them and then they each had to draw a picture to go with their adjective that they wrote. They have cute, round, small, 
three layered cake. That was a uh, good one. Heart shaped cake. All right. A dotted. I told him that dotted. We might say that it's um, spotted. We wouldn't say it's a dotted cat. It's a spotted cat. So I did. I went through them. Creepy teacher. Here's my friend's drawing for creepy teacher. Rainbow cat. And I gave them time. And then at the end, we didn't finish. I didn't give enough time. So I said we were going to finish this morning. So when we came in Wednesday morning, this morning, they had time to finish. And then after a couple of minutes, I said, okay, no more drawing. You just need to write the adjective and we're going to turn it in. And so some of them put a lot of detail in the pictures, which take, it took them too long. So they just wrote adjectives for the rest. We read, I'm pulling kids, they're just reading to me from our decodables that come with wonders. And so they're just reading to me the decodable and then they go sit down and read again. Then I pull somebody else and we got into math. Math was going over expanded form again. We were doing lesson three. I really didn't look at the lesson. I'm just doing expanded form because the lesson says that we're separating numbers into tens and ones. And so, that's what expanded form is. And so I guess I did my own thing. So we finished our paper from yesterday. One group finished, the other group is still working on it. So they did, here's this one, it's not all the way filled out. So this is the paper I got yesterday. It doesn't say who it's from, but it's going over expanded form. It had bigger numbers inside the bubbles. So I will put some white out and then I gave them a number. So I gave them smaller numbers to do. So 70, 84, 127, and they just went through and we did our expanded form. And then we did our word form. So I brought that in also was expanded form and word form. So we worked on that. My friends that um, were my first group, we finished. They're my little, they work a little bit faster. And so on the back, I had subtraction to go over subtraction. So that's what we did for math. We had library after recess. And now when we come back from lunch, we are going to get into our phonics, which is going to be a four minute phonics over the er sound. And then we'll get into no centers, but we're going to do some science. So I'm going to do a twig lesson. Lesson one is, doesn't have a video or just talks about this, the moon itself. We've been talking about the moon, so I'm going to skip that one. I have lesson two pulled up. Lesson two goes over the light and reflection. It has a video that goes with it. So I'm gonna show the video um, on our lesson. And then we are going to do an activity that doesn't come from um, Twig, but it comes from TPT. So we're gonna watch this um, and it's gonna talk about how the um, moon reflects light from the sun. And so we're just going to go through that lesson. We're going to watch that video. And then if on TPT, I found this for free and we're going to do the earth, moon, and the sun, and we're going to put them together. I'm going to have them glue everything. I don't like, I know we're supposed to use the brads and put them where the gray is, but to have the kids push it through is always so much trauma and drama. So I'm just going to have them glue it in a certain position. And then we'll just talk about how it connects to the lesson that we did. So when we come back, we are going to do our phonics. After phonics, since we're not doing centers, we're going to do our science and the project. After science and the project, we're going to get to our re, um, read it loud, which is a chapter book, which I'm doing. And then we are doing little things to go with it. So yesterday we answered questions. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to do a summary of what happened in chapter one, go over a couple of vocabulary words by drawing a quick picture, and then um, read chapter two with their comprehension sent, um, comprehension questions. They have their own packet for chapters one and two, so we're going to do that. After we do our read out loud, we are going to do our reading for the week, which is still fern something about fern, fern the bird or something like that. And so we're going to do that. It's going over cause and effect. And so I have to go make this copy for cause and effect. Um, and we'll do reading and we will give them time or I will give them time to do centers that they didn't finish yesterday and Monday. Those that finished will have some extra ST time or Lexia time, which I'm gonna do one of those today since we don't get to it because we are doing um, no centers today. So that's what we're gonna do. Usually I don't do PE on Wednesdays because it just finishes an hour early and I don't get to it. But if we have time, we'll go out for PE, which it's walking Wednesday. So we just walk around a couple of laps around the softball field. 
Um, and we have an adjective paper. Our adjective paper, didn't want to copy this morning, but I finally got to, to copy. They are going to get words. They have to team them up. And so they're gonna glue one right there and glue the other one there. So it has to go like cat. What would go with cat? Well, furry cat. Okay, furry cat. They're going to glue them down. And then I'm gonna leave them like that today. So today they just have to do the adjectives. Tomorrow they're gonna have to write sentences with six, five of their adjectives that they made. So if it's furry cat, they're gonna have to use furry cat in a sentence. So that's what we're going to do today is just this side and then tomorrow we'll get to the other side so we have some work on adjectives also i did find this i don't know where it came from but i'm going to show this as review and so we're going to talk about turtle and then i'm just going to show them the picture of the turtle and ask what adjectives we can use to describe the turtle if they can't think of any we'll look at the side and then we'll look at and decide which ones could go with the turtle so that's for my adjectives and that should be my Wednesday because we get out an hour early. So I need to go make my copies. I need to make my copies for my sun, moon, and earth. And I need to go eat lunch. So I'll see you after school. I have spent my time wisely. I have corrected papers, passed out papers. I'm doing a lot of more grading. A lot more things are going home with more than just stars because it is the end of the school year. Last trimester, I pick up on the grading. A lot of things before are all done together, done together. So there's not that much that they do by themselves. They do like a couple by themselves, but not like a whole worksheet. Um, now that's the end of the year, we get into more of you're doing a whole worksheet by yourself. Um, looking at what we're gonna do tomorrow, what didn't I do today? I didn't get to this. So we didn't do reading. We did our um, Midnight on the Moon stuff. We filled out our prediction of what we think what's gonna happen next. I reread the chapter and I'm glad I did because even after rereading the chapter, I still had friends that didn't know what was happening in the chapter, so that helped. So we did our science, let's backtrack. We made our little thing. From here, they wrote, um, I don't know where mine went, but I gave them just, oh, here's a piece of paper. And we did our twig video, which was very short. And then I found another video on YouTube. And it was just talking about how the moon doesn't make its own light. And so we wrote down, you know, exactly that. There's no such thing as moonlight. It's the sun's light reflecting off the moon. Those two sentences, the first sentence I came up with and they had to help me figure out how to spell things and then the second sentence I said well what is it and so then one of them was able to tell me that it's the sun's light and I said okay well what is the sun like what is the moon doing with that light and then another one remembered that it said reflecting and so we used reflecting we sounded out reflecting and then they glued it on to their paper so that was science found something for 10 more 10 less now I'm 100% sure that we've already done this because when you pull up on TPT, it tells you the last time you downloaded it and I downloaded it in November. So that means we did this in November, which was, I think mm, my math, we went over 120. So we've done this already. So this is gonna be a quick review. It's a little game. I'll show you tomorrow. You spin and then it tells you a number and you have to do 10 more or you have to do 10 less, and it's kind of like connect four. So we're going to do that tomorrow. I'll show you tomorrow for one group, and then the other group is going to finish their um, more than or their expanded form. This is left here, so I can copy it tomorrow. Bags ready? I need to go. It's Thursday tomorrow, Friday junior. Have my stuff here. Today is track day, so I'm gonna go home, start dinner, they start homework. We stop everything to get ready for track. I take kids to track, pick up my high schooler from, luckily the track is at high, his high school. Um, once my husband gets there, we come home, high schooler and me, and I finish dinner. And then my husband stays there with my other kids while they run the track. And um, they get home and they have dinner. So that's my Wednesday night. I will see you tomorrow and we'll see what we plan for tomorrow. Hi, welcome to lunch. Um, it's Thursday, it's lunchtime. We did our reading. 
I am pulling kids still just to read one-on-one -on -one with me that I can hear them. Today I was pulling just the higher friends um, that are reading on or above grade level. So they were just going by really quick. And then I read at the end with my friend that I'm trying to read with him every day one-on-one -on -one, because he can read. He's just, he just needs the practice. Um, so that was the morning. Um, math was lesson three, lesson four of our module six, which was going over plus 10 more, 10, 10 more, 10 less, one more, one less. I did that with my higher group, my faster paced group. Um, and they were like, I know this already. So we did that with them tomorrow. I think it's going over, um, higher numbers, but it's going over, uh, more than less than equal to with my second group. We were finishing, um, expanded form. Um, and then I also added in word form. So we did standard form, expanded form, word form. This is just from TPT. So we finished this tomorrow. We'll do the plus, um, more than, less than, more, 10 more, 10 less, one more, one less. And then I'll have them do subtraction tomorrow. That way they have what they did, what the other group did. Um, and then we did some boom cards. Let me show you boom cards. This is boomlearning.com. Um, I get them free off of TVT. Some wonderful creator has them free. So what we did today was for my lower group, we did this one, place value um two digit numbers base 10 and so they go ahead and you put do it you read it and then they click it and so when it gets it right it gives it correct when they're wrong it tells them whoops it keeps it crossed out and then they um go to the, the next answer and when they pick the next answer it moves across and then at the end it got into um, what we were doing so there's our expanded form and again they just pick the right one oh it's wrong and they pick the correct one that was with my uh, slower paced group with my other group we did this one and it was going over our expanded form some of them if I go to overview, it shows that all the cards and then it asked to write. And so there's expanded form. They had to tell me in standard form what's to write. And then it got into separating it. So they had to tell me which numbers to write. And then I wrote it, I typed it in. And so when they got it right, it gave them the, and if it gets it wrong, let's just say, common mistake is they say two eight and it'll tell them that it is wrong so we're going to come back and we're going to finish that we have a four minute phonics that's going to go over um you are today i did i are yesterday and then we're going to get into our groups um we're going to do some space writing for working on writing and then we're going to go over the er sound for our word work and then the other two groups are st math and um lexia so two groups doing writing stuff and then two groups doing technology and we will be getting into our reading we're going to read a bird named fern again and then do what we did um didn't do yesterday oh i also copied this for after um the end of the day i think again this is just for cutting because i have friends that need to build their um fine motor skills and learn how to cut straight on a line and so we're going to do this at the end of the day and that's going to go over our phonics we have our um cause and effect and so we're going to go over that when we do our reading and i also copied the pages for the my moon book i have science plan so we're going to do the next lesson in twig science which is talking about reaching the moon and so it's going to talk about space travel um so it's a video and then i have that to read about the moon I did find something that I would like to use. So depending on what the video shows, I found this. It says, what if, I, um, what if you were an astronaut? And so then they're going to do three things about going to the moon. Um, and then there is a boy astronaut and a girl astronaut. So... What I would like to do is to watch the video, 
do this talking about three things that it talks about. I should watch the video before. I'll do that right now. So that way I know what it does talk about because if not, I'm gonna have to change my idea. And so three things that you have to do to go to the moon or go to space. And then they have something to write on. I think I'm gonna change the paper because we need more space to write. And then I'll have these copied um, enough boys for the boys and enough girls for their girls. And so this is going to be my add on for today, different from yesterday's stuff. And so we are going to have finish our um, chapter, get into our phonics centers, reading, science, and then writing. Also have adjectives. So I need to throw my adjectives in there um, from yesterday that I didn't get to. So that's my plan. They are. Kids are very excited for tomorrow. Tomorrow's our fun run. I think it's a bubble run. I think I said color run before, but it's not. My own kids have a color run tomorrow, but our school here is a bubble run. So they are very excited. So many questions this morning that I said, I don't know. I don't know because I don't know. I am not in charge of it. Um, parents are asking if they are allowed on. Yes. And so we're going to have a whole bunch of parents on. We're going to have all our kids out. And so it's going to be a different day. The kids need one more spot to color in for our chart for um, root beer floats. And so I said, wouldn't it be awesome if we had bubble run and root beer floats tomorrow? So they are working hard, they said, on beating me on student versus teacher. And then that means on Monday, I'll have to start something different. Um, I think I'll do punch cards, individual punch cards, and just punch kids when they are doing good tickets, when they are doing good, when they're caught doing good. So I think I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna go eat lunch, it's peanut butter and jelly today, very simple, and then I will see you after school. End of the day, behavior-wise, we ended in a tie, teacher versus students. Why? Because the word Ohio. Um, there's some TikTok, whatever, and it has Ohio in it, and the kids just went crazy, and it was a paper to go over capital letters, um, and I just could not, they couldn't get past it. And so we ended in a tie, which is okay because tomorrow's the fun run, which we go at 8.35 as soon as we come in. Maybe we won't come in. Maybe we'll just put our stuff down in line and head to um, our fun run. And then I'll take roll and everything after we do that. And it's okay that we didn't get a point. We need one more spot to color. And that's fine because they are going to get popsicles tomorrow. So I don't want them to be popsicles and Ruger floats tomorrow. That would be a little bit too much sugar, a little bit too much excitement, spread the happiness. And so maybe we'll get it on Monday. And so Tuesday will be our Ruger float day. One of my girls said that she tried a Ruger float because she's never had one before. And so when she was at home during the weekend, she did try a Ruger float and she said it was good. So she highly recommends them. So we're going to do that next week because tomorrow is fun run popsicles and we'll see what else we do um in class we finished our chapter we did our um centers we did our let me try to show you um here's one we did our um what is this called cause and effect watch showed a little bit video on cause and effect and so then they we worked on it and on the back this is the page I was talking about it had right there Ohio that was the culprit for us falling apart um, we did that um here's our paper we didn't get to so we did it tomorrow they'll have to take it out there are six spots um or five spots to write sentences and so they'll have to pick five of their pairs so little boy furry bear, brown ladder, cheesy pizza, sweet candy, tall cat. They told me what to put and so it works adjective with the noun and so we did, we'll have to do that tomorrow. We are also going to work whole group. I think we're going to do whole group math and we'll work on more than less than equal to tomorrow for our whole group math and then we'll get two more 10 more than 10 less than one more than one less than on Monday with the group that's going to um, skip it, um, just so that we are all consistent together. 
So I'm gonna look at CERN. I'm gonna make sure I move everyone to mission six. I am going to find, um, I'm gonna look at the lesson for tomorrow to see what we're doing for our more than less than, um, and then find a worksheet or something to go with that since we're going to do math whole group and then come in tomorrow in some running shoes and something comfortable so that way I can go run with them. Um, I run with them every now and then and they think it's funny, um, but I'm gonna go do that and highlight of the day was one of my kids said you're 24 right and she likes saying that that's her favorite number to go to and I was like yes I am 24. One of the kids remembered that I said I was 42 and so then he was like no she's not and I was like well, I'm 24 like let me be let me be happy um so that was my highlight of the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and go the room's clean giving them 10 minutes instead of five minutes helps a lot um, I give them 10 minutes and then they have the extra time to do Epic. Um, but there's usually not enough extra time. This Friday, it is fun run day. Today for fun run, I wore a tutu and the kids were very excited because I said it was supposed to be fun. Um, we came in, actually we didn't even come in. We our fun run started at 8.30, school starts at 8, or 8.35, school starts at 8. So I went to line, I handed out their little tags, that's how they keep track of how many laps they do. And then after that, we put our stuff down in line, they grabbed their waters, and we walked to the fun run. We did our fun run, and then we lined up, and they gave a prize to my friend that did the most laps in my class. Awesome, that's great. That made kids cry. Um... The boy that won the thing got like a jelly highlighter crayon marker thing that smelled like orange. Delicious. So delicious he decided to eat it. Towards the end of the thing, like he actually screwed it and kept eating it. I was on this side of the line listening to the lady. He was on this side of the line eating the um, crayon marker highlighter thing that smelled like orange. I turned around he's spitting he's crying he says he's gonna die that he poisoned himself because he ate it i don't know why everything has to be smelly but he decided if it smelled good he was gonna eat it he ate it i sent him to the nurse he came back he's fine um but that was a little excitement there uh after fun run we came in the kids retired we did our affirmations it's about three minute video they sat they did affirmations it was recess time after recess it was sing along. We came back in. We did 99 math. It was lunchtime. So we're at lunch. This is lunchtime. The day has gone. The kids are like, where has the day gone? And I told them the fun run took a lot of our time. So we're going to start our learning day as soon as we come back in from lunch. We did 99 math. And then I said, okay, sit down, do Zern. And they only did Zern for about 10 minutes. Um, and then it was lunchtime. So I'm going to call that as math um, for the day. So when we come back in, we are going to follow our slides. And so our slides have us doing, we're not going to do math. We're going to do our phonemic awareness for um, Friday. So we're going to do our listening for Friday. We're going to go over our high frequency words for the week. And then after that, we're going to get into reading. Today might be the last day I do this. They're not into it. I read the chapter. Yesterday I said, okay, what was the chapter about? And I called four friends and they all looked at me. Um, so we're not listening. I have like the eight kids that raised their hand is the eight kids that raised their hand for everything. I didn't call them. I called the other kids and they just looked at me like, I don't, I don't know. And so they're not paying attention. The, the eight kids are, the ones that raised their hand for everything are, but the other ones, they're not. So today might be the last day we do this. So it's a shorter chapter. I mean, they're not even long chapters, but it's a shorter chapter and they're gonna go to open space. So maybe that'll capture them. There's not pictures on every page. That's why they're having a hard time focusing because there's nothing to look at. They actually have to sit and listen. Um, so we'll do that. I know Twig Science has the phases of the moon video. So we'll probably watch that video and then we'll get into our reading. Our reading is Kitten's First Full Moon. So it'll kind of like lend itself into that. Um, Monday, we're going to do like an Oreo, you know, you scrape off the frosting and then that's gonna be your phase of the moon. Um, and then I'm gonna have them take a picture with their iPad. That way they can show their families before they eat their Oreos. So they get Oreos on Monday. 
Um, so we're going to do that for our reading. And then for writing today, we're going to start. Today's our Thursday. I'm a day behind. So Monday, we'll finish up the, un the week. So this says, if I were an astronaut, we're just going to do this thing um, page. So we're going to do three ideas of what they're going to do if they were an astronaut. And then on Monday, we will write it. So we're just going to do this page. And then on Monday, we'll do the astronaut coloring and then the writing that goes with that. So we'll do this on Monday, but this is what we're doing today for writing. And then um, after writing, I have my adjective paper we need to finish. They need to write sentences for it using the, sent the pairs that they made on the other page. And then we're done. That's our day. So that's going to be our day, which is today's Friday, but we're actually working on day four things. So we're going to do that today. I'm going to pull my groups. I'm trying to see what else we have. Oh, with Kitten's First Full Moon, we're going to use the Your Turn Practice Book. And we're going to use the page that goes over the comprehension skill, which is cause and effect. So we're going to use this. Oh, this is the exact one. We're going to use this. So we'll read Kitten's First Full Moon. And then we will um, do our cause and effect from that. So we'll read it or we'll listen to it and then we'll read it and then we'll do our cause and effect. So we're going to do that with it. Monday, we'll reread it again. We'll take our vocab or our test on it for comprehension and then we'll get into the extra reading part that's called the moon. It's a nonfiction and it talks about the phases of the moon and that's where we're going to do the Oreo thing on Monday. So that's what I have planned for the rest of the day. So for science, I'm going to look to see what their video looks like. I'm going to look at the lesson. But like I've said before, I've noticed that with twig science, there's not a lot of pizzazz to it. I'm used to mystery science and mystery science has the video and then it has the activity. And then it's like there's things to do with everything. And then for this one, like I've done unit one, I've done the Museum of Leafology. I didn't do animal reporters. I didn't do shadow town. I'm going to patterns in the sky. That's our fourth unit. And I'm skipping to the moon one because that's what we're doing right now. And it lends itself very nicely, but there's not, it's, I mean, there's nothing to it. I'm looking at it and I'm trying to add more things to it to make it engaging, I guess is the word I'm looking for. So right now this one says over the moon, review of the moon, share your ideas with the partner. So they're talking and then there's a reading they have to do from their twig book. So I'm going to look at that. And then they're reading with a partner to focus on fluency. And then they are going to read it three times to your partner and discuss. And so they're going to reread it again and again and again. And then they are going to discuss the reading with the whole class and today's video. So today's video is phases of the moon. So I don't know. There's not like there's no projects to do. I'm just used to mystery science where there's like a project for everything and the kids enjoyed mystery science so we're gonna watch the phases of the moon like if you do twig science let me know what you do but i'm gonna show the video and then after i show the video i'm gonna project the reading that they have to do i'm not gonna have them read it twice to themselves three times to a partner and then discuss it we'll just read it all together and then we'll discuss it um, and then we'll do something with phases of the moon on Monday. Since we're reading the story of Kitten's first full moon, we'll talk about full moons. We'll talk about the phases of the moon, and then we'll do a project on Monday that deals with the phases of the moon and also read Kitten's first full moon again. Um, but like I said, Twig Science, I haven't found it as engaging as mystery science because mystery science there was more activities to go with it that lent themselves to you know the kids enjoyed it a little bit more and I enjoyed it a little bit more um here they have them reading it again read the text about uh, so they're reading it like five times like why 
Um, I get it. They're trying to focus on fluency, but I think we'll just do it the one time together. So that's what we're going to do. And then it'll be the end of the day and we'll get out of here. I think we have like six more weeks of school. Maybe it's seven. Maybe I'm being hopeful by saying six more weeks of school, but I'm going to say it. We have six more weeks of school. I call them my second graders. And they, at the beginning, they were like, we're not second graders. And I was like, no, you guys, you know, we're really close to second grade. Now, when I call them second graders, they're like, yes, we're almost second graders. Um, I have friends that I'm focusing on writing with. So when we're doing groups, I'm going to pull them and they're going to just, yesterday, they just wrote the alphabet. And then I went through and I showed them how they needed to fix the alphabet today. And then when they were done, they left. So they weren't with me the whole entire time. Today, they're gonna write the alphabet. And then I'm gonna point to them, same paper, just under, and I'll point, like this is where you need to fix your alphabet. They'll write it. When they're done, I'll send them to do their center. And then I pull somebody else, and then I'm gonna pull the other friends I haven't read with. That's what I'm gonna do today. Um, I'm trying to read with everybody this week, just so I can listen to them. My high kids, they go through it. Um, I'm reading decodables, that's what they're reading. And then my slower kids, they took, I had one kid that took 10 minutes to read four pages from the unit three decodable. So I went back to long A with that bossy E. I went, I think it's unit three, might be unit four. So I went there and he was able to read it. It was just everything he had to sound out. And then yes, the other day I called him again. I told him it's the same story. And so he read it a little bit faster. And so I'm going to call him again. And then he's going to read again. And it's the same story. So he should be a little bit faster. So next year, I have the idea of having the kids read everything to me. And so I'll pull them and I'll have a checklist that says decodable unit one. And I'll have all stories, one, two, three, four, five. If they read it to me, I'll knock it off. And then I'll have it for all six decodables. That's my idea. And then they're just going to go through and they're going to read it to me. And I'm going to use that as, you know, as their phonics, a phonics grade, like they can decode and they're I'm using the decodables as proof that they can decode. And so it's going to be a lot of one on one reading with them, but it's totally doable. I just have to fit it in. But this is my Friday. Thanks for watching my week. I'm pretty sure at the end of the day, I'm gonna be too tired because I ran too. I'm gonna be too tired. We did too many fun things, but thank you for watching. Thank you for joining my fun. Um, and I'll see you next week. My daughter, who's a fifth grader, told me if I said, yo, 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 smash that like button and press subscribe, I would get more followers. So I, I did that for you, daughter, and hopefully, I get more subscribers.